porch piracy has long been an issue in California, and the rate of thefts have increased significantly, uh, particularly now as consumers rely more and more heavily on online shopping. Last year, an estimated $210 million million packages went missing from doorsteps nationwide, and 64% of Americans say they have been a victim of package theft. Porch pirates have become more sophisticated and organized, some even resorting to renting U-Haul trucks and following delivery vans through neighborhoods. AB 1698 recognizes the growing problem of residential package theft by classifying it as its own crime and allowing for a penalty of up to one year in county jail if package theft is committed in concert with one or more persons. This bill, uh, AB 1700, addresses the pipeline for stolen goods. Many goods stolen from retail stores or residential doorsteps end up being sold online through resale platforms such as Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace as examples. While these platforms are largely used to legally swap and purchase used goods, sophisticated theft operations have found potential in these sites to sell stolen items. AB 1700 will help to d disincentivize criminals from using these platforms to sell stolen goods by providing a user-friendly avenue for people to report listings to law enforcement they suspect may contain stolen goods. The bill requires the Department of Justice to maintain an internet website for the purpose of receiving reports of potential stolen goods. The bill further requires tech platforms that allow for the buying and selling of goods to prominently display a link to this reporting location on their websites and mobile applications. Information received through this reporting site will be shared with the AG's Retail Theft Task Force and local law enforcement as appropriate. Addressing retail and package theft will take creative solutions. I respectfully request your I vote.